for this one, we have a derivative. We want to find the original equation at negative 1, 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to write this as dy equals x squared minus 1 dx. I'm going to first write it as a differential. Then I want to integrate both sides. And when I integrate both sides, well, what's the, what's the integral of dy? Yeah. It's simply y. What's the integral of x squared? Well, you add 1 and divide by it. So this is x to the third over 3. And what's the integral of 1? It's simply x. But we have a plus c. Technically, do we have a plus c over here, too? Don't we actually have a plus c here? But can I move it over here and group all the c's together because it's some constant we haven't even defined yet? Anyways, now, that is a particular solution. What do I want? I want one that goes to that point. So how can you find c? Can't you plug in x, y to this equation, find c, and get my, gen my particular solution? So for y, we have 3. For x, we have 1, oh, negative 1. So I plug negative 1 for x, 3 for y. Can I solve that for c? Yeah. I have 3 equals, what, look, negative 1 third plus 1. So I now have um, 3 equals uh, 2 thirds. So if I minus that over, it looks like we get that c equals 2 and 1 third, or 7 thirds. What does that mean? Well, what's my original equation? My original equation would simply be this, x to the third over 3 minus x. But what's c? It's 2 and 1 third, or 7 thirds. That is my particular solution. This is a general solution. This is a particular solution through that point. OK.